This course, Protocol Revenge, written by Blue Moon Hero, read by Swedish Dab. An early noon, this court is on a cloud above Vladimir's cottage. He looked after the cottage when she was off to make hay with Rarity on a visit to her boutique there. But then, at the moment, was interrupted when he heard some pony shouting at him. Discord, can we, can we talk to you? asked Sweetie Belle. Okay, I'm coming down, said Discord. Discord landed on the ground in front of the cutie mark Mercedes. He smiles at them. What, what do you want to ask me? asked Discord. If you can learn, learn us some magical tricks, asked said Apple Blue. Discord smiled and started showing the Curie Marcus some magical tricks, and they could learn later. Afterwards, after showing his tricks, Scootaloo watched Discord. You seem thirsty, Discord, said Scootaloo. Well, it's a hot day, said Discord. Here, we brought some chocolate milk to you, said Sweetabout. Sweetie, Sweetie Belle pours chocolate milk in a glass in front of the fairness. She handles it to Discord. Then he takes it and began to drink it. Q and Marcus look at each other and soon discovers in Discord something is wrong. He immediately begins to turn red in his face and breathe fire. And the Q and Marcus roll around in the grass of laughter. They have poured into chili into the chocolate milk. Discord snapped his fingers and a bottle of water appeared and he drank all of it and then looked at Cuter Marcus Cedars, who was still laughing. <laughs> Gave us Discord, but couldn't help playing a prank on you, said this Scootaloo. Yes, he wanted to prank you, said Apple Blue. Haha, <laughs> I understand, said Discord. Cutie Marcus Sears left Discord and went back to Pony, but without knowing that Discord was planning to revenge on the Cutie Marcus Sears for pranking on him. Early the following morning, Apple Bloom woke up without a sh of a child scream. She was rushed off of the bed and down to the kitchen, where she found a red cold. She thinks who left the baby there when she thought the baby looked like her big brother, Big Macintosh. How did he came here? come here? asked Applebaum. It is your big brother, Big Macintosh, said Granny Smith. Applebloom looks around and sees Granny Smith, but she is not old anymore, but she is young again. Applebloom was so shocked by everything. Granny, what's happening? asked Apple. Bloom. I have no idea. I woke up to be young again and found your brother like that, said Granny Smith. Just then, there was a knock on the door. Apple Bloom opened the door and outside were Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle with a filly. She then saw it was Chili, the pink teacher. What happened to Chili? asked Aunt Applebaum. No idea. We found her in a square town, said Scootaloo. Come in, said Applebaum. Her friends stepped, stepped in, and they saw Granny Smith and Big Macintosh. Even they were shocked. What's happening here? asked Sweetbell. I do not know any, anything happened. How many morning? said Apple Bloom. We may ask Twilight for help, said Scrooge. No, she and the others are in the Crystal Empire, said Apple Bloom. Except Rarity and Fantasy are in main heaven, said Sweetbell. But how should we solve this? asked Sweetbell. Kilmart Crusaders were thinking, while well, Grinsmith takes care of Chia Lee and Megatosh. 
Then Apple Bloom comes up with a solution. We can go ask Sakura. She might know what happening, said Apple Bloom. Yeah, that's an excellent idea, said Sweetie Belle. We should give you get her right, uh, right there now, said um, Sweetie Belle. But we can't leave Granite with Shirley and Macintosh, said Scooby-Loo. Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom had completely forgotten about them, but realized that they had to accompany to Sakura. We might bring them to Sakura so maybe she can help us, said Apple Bloom. Okay, said Sweetie Belle. Then Cutie Mercedes went with Granny Smith and the babies to Sakura to see if she could help them. Once at Sakura's hut, they knocked on the door, and they heard a bright voice from inside. Come in, said Sakura. Sakura, we need your help with, said Apple Bloom. But Apple Bloom didn't have to finish the sentence. But she saw Sakura was a little filly, too. Oh no, not you too, said Apple. How can I help? asked Sakura. Something had happened to Shirley, Macintosh, and Granny Smith, said Sakura. Sakura still seemed to have an adult in mind, though she was a filly. And she examined the affected palms. She then said, that they had to been hit by a kind of magic that made them young again. Can you help them? asked Sweetie Belle. I don't know, but can try, said Sakura. Sakura immediately started producing different cans of herbs and mixing in a cauldron. Meanwhile, Scootaloo helped her, so Sweetie Belle and Apollon took care of the babies with Granny's help. They both hope Sakura can break this magic. Sakura works for a couple of hours and Apple Bloom is getting worried if she can break this magic spell. So, where are the brew, brew ready? Is it ready? says Sakura. Do you think he can help? asks Sweetie Just give him a chance, says Sakura. Apple Bloom pours the brew into three cups and she and Sweetie Belle feeds the babies and Granny takes her own. Every pony is waiting for an effect, but nothing happens. Apple Bloom came desperate for nothing to happen and she started panicking. How should I explain this to Apple Jack? said Apple Bloom. I'm afraid she will be angry at me, said Apple Bloom. Please Celestia help us. Said Celeste, Sweetie Belle. I give up, said Apple Bloom. Then there was a loud voice in the hut, and every pony looked around, but didn't see anything. So, you already give up, said Discord. Discord, where are you? asked Scootaloo. Yes, I'm here said Discord. Show you Discord, said Apple As you wish, said Discord. And then Discord show appeared from nowhere and smiled at Cutie Kumar, Cutie Kumar, Cutie Mar Crusaders, who is looking at them. What have you done with them? asked Sweeper. Be calm. I just put the spell that made them young again, said Discord. Why did you do it? asked Apple Bloom. It was your lesson that you played a prank on me, said Discord. Forgive us then, at Discord. We promise not to do it again, said Sweetie Belle. Please restore them now, said Apple Bloom. Discord stands at things and smiles at Cutie Kumar Crusaders. You have been lucky enough, suffer enough. Let go then, said Discord. Discord snapped his fingers and Macintosh, Shirley, and Sakura became adults again, and Granny became old. She enjoyed being young again, although it was temporary. What was happening, and why are all, all we here? asked Shirley. We can explain, said Sweetie Belle. So, 
Kiri Marcus Davis explains everything to Shirley and Macintosh, and they got a bit angry, but changed quickly when they saw that they had really regretted. This court promised to not do that again and disappeared. Surely, Macintosh and Granite Smith was completely restored just in time for the same afternoon. The others came back from Manhattan and the Crystal Empire. They asked how everything was while they were gone, and the Curie Marker status looked at each other and replied that everything was good and a busy day. The end.